Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. For today's video, we are going to do something new compared to what we usually do on this channel. So for today, I will have a guest uh, who will also join me in the unboxing and the taking of genetic material to be sent to this particular company. So we are here today. Uh, I'm here with Gavin Sanson Bagares, one of Cebu's foremost social chronicler and memoirist. Thank you very much, Prima. Thank you. Oh, by the way, he is also my second cousin, so we call each other Prima. So as I said earlier, we are going to do some sort of unboxing for the this particular kit, the 23andMe. Uh, genetic genealogy testing kit. Uh, there are many other kits out there that you can choose from, but for today we have this particular brand uh, courtesy of our very good friend Michael Francis Acevedo Lopez. So thank you, Mike, for this. Um, so basically, this is a kit from the United States, one of the first to actually do genetic genealogy testing. I will do other videos that will explain genetic genealogy, but for today, we're just going to do an unboxing for 23andMe, and then also do a step-by-step, -step, uh, follow the step-by-step -step, uh, process of getting gen genetic material from, from each other. So let's open it. So when you open it, we see this. This is a discount card you can use for 30% uh, off one kit for a friend or family member. So if you want to buy another kit or give a gift to someone, you can use the promo code here on this particular card. Uh, there's also a sort of manual, um, pretty much simple to, to follow. Uh, it tells us what's inside the box as well as the simple step-by-step -step on how wow. to take our genetic material. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this. Mm -hmm. So, before anything else, um, the first step that it's telling us to do is register your kit. So, uh, we'll show you later how to register the kit uh, by going to 23andme.com slash start. So, we have to register the kit using the... there's a registration number here that we can use so that uh, we need to use this so that you will have your own account and that's where your result will be posted. So inside the box, other than this manual, this guide, is this one. So we need to fit into this and um, also a reminder based on their manual uh, as I reminded you earlier, Prima, yeah. yes. no food or drink oh my God. 30 minutes before you take your uh, DNA test. Yes. So spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not the bubbles, reaches oh the fill line shown here. So we have to fill Sorry. up to here. Oh my God, that's so much saliva. So, so much <laughs> saliva. We won't be showing you this a little bit gross, but you get the picture. You have to spit okay. into this funnel uh, up to this particular line here. You can see that's quite a lot of saliva to spit mm -hmm. for this particular test. What is this uh, um, This one is a... This is the bag where we're supposed to put this ah, okay. after we take the test. So, okay. uh, what are the parts of this uh, spit one? So, uh, you can see here, so this is the funnel, and you have this. So, after we spit, yeah. let me, okay, after that, uh, we are supposed to close the lid, this one here, 
and then according to the instruction the liquid in the lid there's a liquid here if you want to see there's a liquid up here this is supposed to be released into the tube to mix with the saliva ah, okay. so we have to close this tightly uh -huh. and after that hold the tube upright unscrew the funnel from the tube and discard so use the cap to seal the tube okay. unscrew the funnel oh so we're supposed to unscrew this is there a cap uh -huh. oh uh -huh. so here's sure, the yeah. cap the blue one the, the, blue, one, with the, the blue one with the blue inside yeah, yeah. So we're supposed to use this to inside portion to screw into this vial. So I guess we can do that. Uh, so we'll pause briefly so we can spit into this and then we will continue after we have spit into this particular uh, collection. Before you seal it, there's a barcode on the side of your vial. You have to copy that because you need that for your registration on the 23andMe website. Have you found yours? Yes, Where is it? it's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 14 digit. It's a 14 digit uh, number on the side of the vial. So I'll just take a picture of this so that, that before anything else, you register your kit to 23andMe's website. So go to 23 and me.com slash start and then register your kit put in your name your email address make a password and then your birthday these are the first things that you need to input into 23andme's website and then it will then send a verification email to your email address where you have to click on that and then verify that you indeed signed up for the website. So as soon as you reach this particular page and you have already verified your email, then you can just click on the sign in to your account uh, and then go to the registration, continue with the registration of the kit. So you will be taken to the barcode section uh, as as you know the vial has a 14 digit number on its side uh, copy that on this particular uh, site and then uh, just input those numbers uh, click on I will be using this kit and then click on continue so it will then take you to several pages just for legal purposes asking you for your consent in every page just click on uh, you give your permission or you give your consent until you reach the end of the form okay so now we're back uh, are you done prima yes maybe i gave them too much but okay. it should be okay um by the way it's just actually quite quite a small amount of saliva it's not the whole thing as you may uh, see, it's actually just quite a, a small amount of liquid that's needed from you. So it's quite easy to spit actually. Um, now, according to step four, after you've done collecting your sample, you're supposed to close this lid until you hear a click. And there's a liquid here and it's supposed to drop into and mix with your saliva and the liquid in the lid will be released into the tube to mix with the saliva. Make sure that the lid is closed tightly. Screw on cap. Hold the tube upright and screw the funnel from the tube and this part. Unscrew. And then, using this cap with the blue lid, screw on the vial. Where do we put this thing? The one that we can screw? Uh, you just put it in your box. Okay. And then we will screw this tightly on. Yes. So now you have this and uh, you're supposed to... Yeah. The blue should be on top. 
So after that, step six, place the cap tube into the plastic bag containing the absorbent pad and seal the bag. Do not remove the absorbent pad from the bag, so screw it tightly. And then using this bag, uh, with the illustration in front, there's an opening here. You're supposed to put this vial inside, yes, with a cap on top. Mm -hmm. And then this is actually a double-sided tape. Remove this, the white one, and then you can seal this with this side sticking to the Okay, so where is the double pass tape on this one? Yeah, the Take white one. Remove that. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you can Wow. So this is now safe for and uh, this just fold it clean right now. Yeah. So you can ship this together with the box. So return the sealed plastic bag to the original box. Peel the strip and seal the box closed, then ship. So you can just put this back here if you want. To protect it uh, and then put it back in the box. I did this correctly again. So you're ready. Uh, all you can, all you need to do now is seal it, send it back to the to the address you find here. So that's it uh, for the 23andMe unboxing and uh, collection of genetic materials. So we will be doing wow. another video after we receive our results from 23andMe. So. Uh, I guess that's it for today. Yeah, thank so you very much already. for thank your you. time, for joining us today, Prima. Yeah, uh, once is. again, uh, thank you for watching another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Uh, and I'm here today with Cebu's foremost social chronicler and memoirist, Gavin Samson Badat. Thank you very much for indulging me. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.